everybody, this is Herschel Fruin from High School Top 200. Uh, this uh, review of Tauranga Boys College is brought to you by Fine Line Barbers. Fine Line Barbers has um, got together with a, a major barbering supplier company here in New Zealand and they are setting up the Aotearoa Barber Competition, which is a national barber competition for all barbers around the country that want to come up and show their skills and talents that they have. Uh, this Aotearoa Barber Competition will be held next year uh, in September, so September 2017. Um, it's going to be a one-day thing and it's going to have um, barbers from all over the country come up and also representing their barber shops. Um, it's going to have, um, they're going to be setting up a, uh, a Facebook page and also an Instagram page for barbers to also upload their work so that we can follow their work um, throughout the year and that we can also get a haircut um, from uh, some of the barbers that we like from around the country that may not be in our area. So Fine Line Barbers is setting this up. Uh, you don't have to have your barber certificate or your, um, uh, what is it called? Yeah, your, your course pass or whatever. If you're just real talented and you just want to give it a shot and think that you're, uh, you know, you got some skills. So jump into it. Aotearoa Barber Competition, um, uh, September 2017. Um, Tauranga Boys, uh, Tauranga Boys is, is one of those uh, real talented kind of sneaky kind of teams in terms of like you it's sort of the way that I think about them is that you know that they're good um, you know that you can't mess around with these guys because if you um, if you think that you're going to beat them or if you think that you're going to easily just wipe them out they're going to surprise you and then and turn you know and turn that game into a w for themselves this year was actually kind of that year as well like there was no real noise coming from Tauranga boys and you know they didn't have a lot of um uh top rated guys sort of returning i think uh will ngatai and and sione afu were probably the only ones that were really that recognized in terms of a national standard that were coming back and so everybody else was kind of um um, either not really the, who were just talented but not really developed yet uh, or they were um, pretty um, underrated and they just quietly went about their business and, and even won some really big games like that one against St. Paul's Collegiate where even St. Paul's um, I think St. Paul's took them a bit too lightly and then they ended up losing that game but um, Tauranga went through, and then they actually they actually did their thing. I mean, they um, they they had a pretty slow, bad start kind of thing, losing to Auckland Grammar and Wesley first up. Turned it around with Francis Douglas, which was which is a good one because they dropped like fifty points on them. Um, and then they they went on to beat um, St Paul's the week after that. So at least they were at five hundred, which is you know two wins, two losses, half and half. At least they they came into a well, they started the season off two and two, which was good. I mean they ended up having six you know six wins six losses and at the end of it, but um, that was kind of the the season that they had was it was just like that. Um, I I mean they had a coaching change which I think was a good thing. I think they they needed something like that. And it ended up being um, within their favour. Um, and then out of that team, we got we got to see some really good players um, come out and also show that uh, there was a, a lot of talent to be seen there. I mean, obviously, um, Will Ngatai coming out, uh, you know, coming back and he just showed up and, you know, he was just just as talented as hell, you know, like that kid, he can do a lot of stuff. Um, in any position as well. Sione Afu was another one that was, even I kind of underrated him a bit until I saw him, what he could really do when he got to the Chiefs camp. Um, and then Leroy Carter, who's the halfback, who I think is going to be one of the best halfbacks coming back next year. Um, that was something that we got to see and got to preview to see how good this kid's going to be. And um, for me personally, I'm going to rest that team on him next year. That's the guy that I would be looking at to say, well, the success of this team is going to be 
on Leroy. He's going to be that main dude. He's going to be that guy that everyone turns to because he's just such a talented player. Um, they had um, uh, Jake Melbourne was there too at first five. Who's real? Was also real talented and Manaya, um, who you know added his thing into it as well. And there's this kid. His name's um, C G Young. Um, um, she G Young. Sorry. Um, a Japanese player too, and I'm not too sure if he's Japanese from Japan or if he's Japanese just brought up here. But this kid, he is—he's on the next level. He's only year eleven, but he is—he is a fast kid, real physical as well. I think that he could actually be a midfielder um, if he starts hitting the gym and getting a bit maybe thicker because his explosive power is really and 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 i think it's the same new zealand thing where you see a guy who's asian on the field and you're like yeah whatever and then when you see this kid oh you know you know you're gonna regret what you're thinking straight away once he gets past you because this kid is good he's real talented and they have another kid still there five who's coming up too as number eight um but you know um and a kid lachlan who's a slock uh for Tauranga boys so like they've got some talent coming through and so this year um uh I thought that they had some some really good wins because they went out and they also beat it, beat, they beat New Plymouth Boys. Uh, they just fell to Tauranga Boys. The Kelston game was one that I thought that they should have won. Uh, that was my one for uh, their bad one of their bad losses, and and only because that they had their game on them and they should have just brought that one out. Um, so like, you know that they had a team this year. And I wouldn't know how to pinpoint where they fell or um, or where they, they could have worked on to get better. But I think that they had everything there that they needed. Because they even beat Palmy Boys as well. And, um, you know, they put up good games against Hamilton twice. Or, or Hamilton and Hastings. And I think about it, they only lost to Hastings Boys by... Um, was it like 10 points or something like that or or 19 10 or 15 points something like that something like real close which which for, for Hastings is, is is a big deal because Hastings was blowing teams out like remember that Hastings smoked Hamilton boys in their first game it wasn't until when they got to the top four that it actually was really competitive so like for me, Tauranga showing that they could do that. Even against Hamilton boys, they, they, they lost 26-15. And then the week after that, they beat Gisborne boys. I think they went over to Gizzi as well and beat them 22-20. So, like, Tauranga boys is not a team to, that that was um, just an easy beat. But then something just wasn't right because they should have been winning these games. I think if there's three games in this... Uh, within their schedule that they could turn around, they would be... Uh, a legitimate top 15 team this year and they would have actually really pushed Hamilton boys um, and Rotorua boys to get into that top four because they were the ones coming like they I, I thought that that was the unlucky team for the year and and so when they had because um I thought that they had a really good loose trio um, uh, Reef Nini was there with Flynn Kelly uh, Gordy Lloyd was there for a bit, I think, sometimes, and then they had Israel um, Moki there, and um, and so so they did have some good runners. They did have some good firepower. Uh, Sione Afu, of course, in the in the front row. Sione uh, Muffy uh, Fafita was there as well, um, and Darren Scudder is, a, is another kid that I'm looking out for. Him and Peter uh, Sealing are two guys that I think are going to be really good players. Hopefully next year. I think they're coming back next year as well. But um, these guys that I'll be looking out for. But I just thought that this team was probably a team that really didn't play to the full potential that they actually had because they pulled out some good ones when, um, we, where even I personally didn't expect it either. And I think some parents were the same, where they didn't think that they were going to be so close. And all these games that they were just dropping off right at the end, you know, turned some of those games around. And, and this team is a, is a, a top 10 con contending team. Um, throughout the country I think that they're going to be a really good team next year with all the talent that they have coming back and then the young talent that are coming through which I'm pretty excited to see um, 
I think this is a team to look out for. Um, shout out to the new coaching staff that they had this year and the work that they did with them because I thought it was great and I thought that showed a real strong testament to what the coaching staff could actually do with this turnaround team. So um, big shout out to them. That's my review for uh, Tauranga Boys. Peace.